uh, if the opportunity allows it. As these guys get ready to rock and roll here, green flag is out. And Jonathan Delaney is going to lead the field here with Adam Benefield and Dustin Hall going side by side. We have Dustin, Dustin Hall, excuse me, Dustin Hall uh, actually got around that number 83 of Adam Benefield quite easily. He's now going to be second with Adam Benefield trying to gain some speed and get around uh, the guys that have just passed him. But a lot of speed coming out of this train here from the 1, the 37, and the 65. You can see it on your screen now. These guys are going very fast around this track. Excellent racing that we're seeing so far. Jonathan Delaney, like you said, uh, Drew, he's uh, he had quite the start there, and it's working out in his favor, but will he be able to maintain it as he's getting some pressure starting to build up behind him and quite a bit of it? Yeah, he's he was able to get a great start, like we <laughs> like we said. He's it's always beneficial for you to get that inside spot, and for Jonathan Delaney, it was nothing short of what he's done before. Good, uh, there was a good move early on into turn one as well by the number 37 and Jason S. Taylor. He decided to go down the inside once he got the clear from his spotter. Now sits in third place, but as these guys are starting to go single file. It's just going to turn into a big long line of cars, and we're just waiting for that one car to push the other. We're of 190 and somewhere, it looks like we're going to have some of our first pitters going in right now. That's going to be uh, Jason S. Taylor, Sean O'Brien Jr., Patrick Much, and Dalton Mobley all, uh, all pitting into pit road here currently. So, you know... These guys here, uh, Jason S. Taylor, an interesting one to see here in pit road. He was actually third uh, before going into pit road here. So that kind of bodes the question here. What's the strategy here for Jason S. Taylor? This is kind of yeah. early, I would say, um, for a pit strategy. But the the first stage ends at lap 60. So pitting, in, I would say, one lap more than uh, kind of the expected window. I don't think it's going to hurt Jason S. Taylor too much. Now we see even more drivers into the pits of Adam Benefiel, uh, Dustin Hall, who was second place, Alex Murray, Brandon Pierce, Cody Porter, and Bradley Brandon all currently in the pits and a good race out of the pit lane to try and keep those spots. But it's these strategies evolving as well as we're seeing now some of the other lead cars now going in. And there was some cars sideways even going into the pits there's one still in the grass as he goes down the pit straight i don't well hopefully he doesn't get a penalty for that i don't know how race control is going to deal with it but he is uh i don't think he's even categorized as in the pits yeah he is now out so to be out of the race in the long term as we start to see a load of drivers come into the field here we have the 86 going sideways bumping into the oh wall my god <laughs> absolutely great that's going to be brandon white in the number 86 there uh, coming in pit road just a little too spicy yeah <laughs> like we said before you've got to make sure that your pit stops are spot on this is all of the second pack if i'm not mistaken so they may come around uh, just a little bit ahead of everyone that they're competing with but it's definitely want to don't want to do what the 86 was doing in terms of spinning right there so uh, he's got to be careful with that uh, these guys are now filing into the second, or behind that first pack that did it earlier, and now we see a new leader at the top of the uh, at the top of the order right now, and that is Lucas Hoitzma. Turned into the exit of turn two with the number nine of John Delaney up top. He currently has the momentum down the back stretch, and we'll see what happens on this final turn here, Mason. Yeah, very exciting action that we're seeing from these oh, guys in the front of the field. Oh, we're going into turns three and four. Things are looking spicy. Drivers are going too wide here. It's absolutely intense battles here. Very close. Act oh, oh, we saw a little oh. bit of a little bit of a slip up there. Yeah. Couldn't see what number that was, that was but uh, that was number twenty-eight of Alex Murray. But regardless, he'll be going into the pits as the caution will fly here as this first stage finishes up. There's still time. Uh, to be able to make that happen but uh green flag is out here sean o'brien jr is going to be taking a gap here on the field with jason s taylor and jonathan delaney uh, behind him jonathan Ooh. delaney with a dive down oh to the bottom line goodness. that was <laughs> that was uh, 
gave me a little bit of a skip there. I thought we were going to see a crash, but uh, <laughs> that was intense. My, my, my heart jumped for a second. I, I thought that was going to be very, very, very scary. But, you know, that's one of the things that Sean has been able to do so greatly in, the, in this entire season is be able to place his car exactly where he needs to at the time that he needs to. And look at him already. He's on the back of the 37 of Jason Taylor, and he might be looking for an attack here in the next few laps. So just just a little bit of a taste, you know, just a dabble of what uh, John Delaney is able to do and what we've seen from him in the past as well. Racing as we see a lot of these guys now falling into the pits, a lot of smoke happening in terms of the brakes, but a lot of contact between these drivers as well. I think some of them even went off track. Yeah, I saw three different drivers there uh, all get involved in that little bit of a slip up there coming into pit road. We're probably going to see a lot of uh, a lot of guys get penalized for that. Um, I would getting, have to imagine, yeah. Yeah, I would say some of these guys are probably going to be served UOLs. They're going to have to be sent to the back of the field. Or uh, they might have to stay in pit road a little bit longer, get served those time penalties for coming into pit road so quickly or just so carelessly, uh, as iRacing would lo lovingly put it sometimes. Um <laughs> so it's it's going to be interesting to see what these guys, uh, what the guys that uh, well, <laughs> a note as well. Like uh, off of that, we see Randy Drumhiller staying out as he will now come into the pit. These guys have been respectful in all sorts of the word. These guys have done some fantastic racing in terms of battling for position any chance that they have. And as we come across. Uh, the start finish line we're gonna see the caution but not before Jason Taylor gets the stage win I think but he goes sideways gets quarter paneled into the wall is the number 37 that is detrimental to his uh, repair time I would have to say he's gonna be falling very much to maybe even the back of the line and as I say that actually we're gonna have drivers entering into pit road here a handful oh boy, of drivers that's here. A lot. <laughs> Oh, we got a driver going sideways as well. He is sideways into the grass. That is uh, probably not the way to enter pit lane, I would have to imagine. <laughs> yeah, not the not the best way to enter into pit lane, but hey, you know, you come in with fashion. Got to give credit to the number three machine, uh, He's Brian just trying to Mabry. Stick out. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to get some of that TV time, you know. You got to yeah, make exactly. it count. <laughs> but, Good note, though. John Delaney up in that uh, front spot currently sitting. He's about to pop out, but look at that number 63 car of, of uh, Bryson Hixenbaugh. Cameron Stone, the number 57 as well, getting out very well. So Sean O'Brien Jr., Dalton Mobley, and Randy Drumhiller also all coming into the pits as we're about to see them uh, attempt to get as quick of a pit stop as their competitors just did. Uh, there's no... There's no one team or one person out there that is uh, kind of the shining star, if you will. Uh, there's also, oh, and <laughs> as oh I say that, we had a little bit of wall <laughs> contact there. Uh, drivers getting getting a little too spicy coming out of, I think that was turn number, yeah, that was turn number four. An exciting final lap it's going to be here as Cameron Stone and Jonathan Delaney take it, take it around turn four, coming out of turn four now. Getting ready to pass that white checkered line and let that white flag fly. It's going to be an interesting, interesting final final lap here today. But for everyone involved, it's been an exciting one. And, oh, man, for Jonathan Delaney, excellent race from him. Being able to lead the race as long as he did and still finish out second. Uh, impressive for him and Cameron Stone. Great performance from him as well. Let's see if he makes the move here. Is it, things getting a little, little interesting here. Coming yeah. on to our final, <laughs> final lap here. Jonathan Delaney looking like he's wanting to make a move here. A few other drivers looking like they want to make oh, a move Dustin as well. Hall. Yeah, Dustin Hall in the back. Look at him following the 24 of Kevin Steele. He might turn something into uh, getting a place there as he moves up into P4 now past Sean O'Brien Jr. Oh. And oh, and a big, big, big wreck of cars here. Oh, no. Cameron Stone loses out to Jonathan Delaney crossing the line. 
Bryson Hicks of all <laughs> comes across P3. What is this? Oh my gosh. And we see... <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, you see the 97 of Mike Floppy as well going across the finish line backwards. What a wild finish. Oh my to goodness. This, <laughs> to this. Let's see if we can get a quick replay uh, on that incident here as we see it on our screens here. Got drivers getting involved into one another. Oh, just a bunch of carnage ensues from there. Oh my god. Oh gosh. But. That's it oh, for today's race. <laughs> wow. Cameron Stone losing out to Jonathan Delaney.